In this video, we're going to take you through the scan function in WordFence Security. You can see I've got the plugin installed and activated, and on my screen now I'm looking at the WordFence scan screen. Uh, all you need to do to start a scan is simply click start a scan, and what it will do is run that uh, right in front of you, and you can see down the bottom right it says uh, WordFence is currently, uh, well, it says that it's working, which means it's currently doing a scan. Uh, this is where it goes through and checks your site for a whole massive range of vulnerabilities. So the scan's now complete and it's taken about a minute and 40 seconds on this site and how long it takes on your site will really depend on how big your site is, uh, what it needs to scan through, but it does scan for uh, a massive amount of things and there are a couple of things you will probably want to take notice of here. It says that it skipped the theme and plugin scan uh, because those are currently disabled, but you can very easily go to the options and enable those. Uh, what you can do then is scroll down, of course, and you can see that there's more detail uh, regarding the actual scan here as well. And you can actually email that activity log uh, to yourself. Otherwise, what you probably want to do is scroll down to the new issues area and just confirm that there are no issues here. Uh, because if there are any there, you really want to make sure you go and fix those. But most of the time, they're going to be outdated themes and plugins, uh, you know, if you have those scans available. But that's where we're going to wrap this video up. It's really, really easy to do uh, to run a scan in WordFence, and it can give you a great idea of where vulnerabilities may lie, and it's also a good way of seeing what it's actually checking for uh, in terms of keeping your site secure. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comments below.